Daniel, this is so unbelievable. Yeah, as you say, you know, I love blue. And in this time, it's gorgeous. But the rocks over there, the sunset time, become beautiful rose. And this contrast, blue and rose, is amazing. We have no sunset for Captain House, but we have beautiful, really beautiful moonrise from the rocks there. Yes. And it's really amazing that time it happened. Wow. So people are tickled pink. They love this. So what do you really prepare for them to make them come back again and again? We try, you know, our, the, the best of our kitchen is to keep the taste of food, so keep the taste of the different ingredients that we have in a light way, so I don't use cream, I don't use uh, fat, and I try to keep uh, the taste more natural than they are. It's very interesting, this is like light, light motif. I've met a lot of the chefs at the restaurants in the resort in the Lago Nisi, and they're all talking to me about try to make it simple with good ingredients and have good food but not heavy so I'm really happy I'm, I'm, I'm a person that likes to eat good but not you know, heavy. And here in Greece by the culture the tradition they have it's not easy because they are creamy people they say they yes. like fat they like uh, I don't know we, first time I, I arrive in Greece and uh, I start to speak about carbonara you know one of the more traditional Italian spaghetti and I went in this restaurant and they bring me Okay, I forgive about the cooking of pasta, <laughs> but yeah. the sauce was with cream. So eggs, cream, and uh, mushroom, so it was not exactly carbonara, but the Italian kitchen it was known as something fatty and creamy here in Greece. Okay. I'm here three years now, I'm, let's say, on the new wave of Italian cooks. That's why we try to make it light, uh, but tasty. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have one plate this year, I call it uh, Crescendo, thinking about music. Okay. And uh, it's a filet of sea bass that I cut in five small pieces and I wrapped in eggplant, in a thin slide of eggplant. But every piece has a different version. So the first one is just with fleur de sel, natural, natural. The second one is with basil. The third is with dill, the fourth is with parsley and garlic, and the fifth is with rosemary and lemon, oh and it's God. thin. So every bite you have, you are eating a filet, but every bite, the taste of... Oh, oh, it oh, goes oh, higher oh, and yeah, higher yeah, and yeah, crescendo, yeah. that's yeah. a good one. So, tell me if, if I'm a customer of, uh, of the captain's house, what do I come back for? What, what do people keep coming back for, from your menus? Because you try something and then you want to try something else next time. Okay. Hoping maybe it's better. <laughs> Good. What are you preparing now in the kitchen? In the kitchen now, you know, our mise en place, it's uh, just uh, raw things. So we are just uh, making filet of fish, uh, cutting uh, the meat. Uh, to prepare it. Yeah, to prepare it. Okay. But everything is made a laminate. Except, uh, let's say, I make my own ketchup. So this is not a laminate, oh. and we have some other sauces that cannot make a laminate. So we have some sauce ready and some that we make a laminate. But so all the pasta side is totally, totally a laminate. Yes. Do you have fresh pasta? We make fresh pasta. You make fresh, we pasta? Make fresh pasta? That's we good. We make so. it with eggs and uh, double O flour, or we make with semolina and water. But you really, you really made me thinking, well, how do you make your carbonara? <laughs> carbonara, <a> every, secret. <laughs> every family has its touch. Every family, it's something very traditional. So, you know, somebody put a little bit, a touch of garlic. Somebody uses smoked bacon. Somebody, it's not bacon, it's always pancetta. Someone uses smoked pancetta. Someone uses uh, just salty pancetta. Someone scramble the egg together, the yolk and the, the white of the egg, and they put it inside, making a small omelette uh, in between the spaghetti. Someone just put first the white and then the yolk later. Someone used three eggs for one person. How do you do it? You won't tell me. <laughs> no problem. I put some oil, I put a piece of garlic, I make the garlic take a little color, 
I put my bacon and I like better for my taste, no smoked bacon. I just give the color to the bacon and I throw away the fat. I cook my spaghetti, I put it in this oil, I just jump it, I saute it, and then I, I use two eggs. One egg, I mix up the yolk and the white together with a little bit of parmesan, and another one, I just use the yolk. I cook the first one, scramble yolk and white, and before serving, I put the second yolk, and I just mix it up in the, in the way that the yolk make it cream around the, the, the spaghetti, being not cream. Wow. It's not, I'm not this on my menu anyway. I'm not going out on my menu. You don't? Okay, so I have to know you to ask for it. Yeah, you can come in the afternoon, Kevin. <laughs> That's good. Thank you very much, and you I are, hope you're you having are, a great day today. With my mood pleasure. in a cooking mood, yes? Thank you. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. But, Daniel, what is the, the place there that looks like a dancing ring? What is, yeah, okay. what we is use, that? We use it for celebration, for wedding, you know, it's kind of area where people take aperitifs and sit down waiting for the dinner. Oh. For instance, we have had last year a huge wedding. Yes. And uh, this area was for a little while a kind of small Venice, you know, because you see there is this small bridge going to the open sea. Oh, yes. And uh, this couple, the bride and the groom, came by boat and then arrived down here, getting out down on, on this small deck here, getting yes. out of boat, and then keep on walking all along the deck until we are, you know, us were and parents oh, and yes. fans waiting for them. And work fire all along the way was really, really Hollywood, let's say. Oh my God, <laughs> and that's when you, you arrange them. With, uh... Yeah, and then they have the dinner here, of course. Yes. It was amazing because, by the way, uh, these people were from Lebanon. Yes. From Lebanon. and they came to have their wedding here because the war started there. Oh my god. And they have uh, to move and to do this, to do this on Russia, I don't know what, and they make it in Lagunese. And this is so beautiful and peaceful. Yeah. Like, this is yeah, amazing. Okay. Much more than Lebanon. <laughs> Much yeah. more than Lebanon. Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you.